drug addiction, obviously it's a devastating thing, but often what is forgotten, every 19 minutes a child in the US is born with an opioid addiction that they have inherited from their drug addicted mothers. I want you to look at this disturbing video. It's from Cabell Huntington Hospital in West Virginia. What you're seeing is this is a newborn child literally going through opiate withdrawal. And for some of these newborns, there is luckily a happy ending, but these kids, the minute the umbilical cord is cut, so is their heroin supply or what other opi whatever opiate is in her mo their mother's system. It's hard to watch. And about uh -huh. half babies yeah. who are born to mothers taking opiates will have symptoms resembling what you saw in that video. Heroin abuse, we've talked about, it's nearly doubled in the US. There's, yeah. there, there are a lot of people out there who are using it and addicted to it. And of course, when that happens and you become pregnant, the baby can be affected. A former addict, Katie, actually joins us on the phone. And Katie, first of all, I want, I want to thank you for being very open and honest because when you went through your pregnancy, you were abusing heroin, is that correct? Yeah. Katie, did you lose um, custody of your baby when, when this happened? No, I did not. She is with me. She's with and me. I'm assuming that Katie, even after the birth of your child, who I know went through these withdrawals, did, did that change you? Did that experience change the way you view your life going forward as a mother? Oh, yeah. I mean, I still struggle with, with the guilt, and I'm not really sure if I will ever fully forgive myself for that. But, you know, I've made it my mission to try to help other people. You know, I would like to try to write a book. Whatever, whatever I need to do to just show people that change is possible and that, you know, just don't give up and don't be ashamed. And is your baby okay? She is awesome. She will be one on Saturday. Aww. And she is, you know, she's almost walking. She's, she's great. Well, well we, we wish both of you all the best. I think a lot of times pregnant mothers will actually avoid seeking help because they're afraid mm -hmm. of being judged, of being locked away. Mm -hmm. And we've said and pleaded on this show, you know, it's never too late to make a change. And, right. and we shouldn't judge a mother who comes clean and says, look, I found out I'm pregnant, I've been abusing, I need help. Because if they're afraid to come forward, then we're the ones who are, who are ultimately causing the damage. If we're, if we're not gonna allow women to come forward, and, and because that's a scary situation when you acknowledge to whomever it may be, look, I've been abusing, I just found out I'm pregnant, what do I do? And certainly the good news here is that in a lot of instances, um, these babies can turn the corner, live happy, healthy, productive lives.